finding the abstract pattern of a picture of this complicated uh, is, a, is a task. But as you can see, you can see where the lights and darks are and you've got to look for that pattern that will tie into the outer edges of the painting, which is called format. Now, as I begin this uh, process, I will start to draw the angles that I see that's uh, going into the, uh, in this, into the picture. Uh, not objects, but kind of like the feeling of, of that. Now, see, that would be an angle that I would see, and then I'd draw that one, and you don't even have to lift the pencil from the paper. Hold the pencil way in the back, and don't do a lot of detail. Look for the bigger shapes, uh, and of analyzing where that building will stop, and then the, uh, the uh, porch that overlaps. Uh, top and then putting in these sticks there. I got a little bit too representational. I didn't have to do that uh, But that happens and then you, you just erase it after after you get done uh, Okay, now I'm going to put in some correct some perspectives that is going to be in there and then that's an angle There's a post and then we've got this dock that's up in the front now as you can see I've created now a large large shape here uh, that's going to the right and I'm going to have to put another shape uh, behind that shape like trees or whatever uh, so that it, it ties into that particular uh, side of the uh, of the painting there's a, a bicycle in there so I want to make sure that I indicate where that is so when I paint I might uh, consider that as I'm as I'm painting when I say I might uh, it all depends upon what happens when I see what I see as I as I paint the first stages of this uh, uh, abstract pattern in a middle light uh, light value, and so I put a tree up top there, and uh, I think that looks uh, uh, pretty good. Now we're going to paint that abstract pattern, and we're going to start out with neutral tint. And it's, uh, it's lighter than you think it is on the uh, video here, uh, but don't go too light. You should go about a number three value. And now I've got that bicycle there, and I think the top part could uh, remain as light. Uh, we have a lot of big shapes coming through here. And also that's all, uh, all a big shape, so I'm going to cut that in with this uh, one and a half Simmons Rich, uh, Richard Simmons brush and I uh, have that down there there's some things that go across banners and now I've got to tie it in to the uh, right side of the uh, of the format now it's all on top so now I got to bring something down uh, so that uh, we have a touch to the uh, uh, bottom edge as, as well now I've got a big dock there and that's uh, completely uh, uh, white. Uh, so I'm not going to paint that out. And here's the tip. Uh, when you're in doubt, don't paint it. Leave it. You can always, always paint it later. Uh, so I'm bringing that down. I've got a window right there. That breaks up that space. Uh, then I'll re-emphasize that. Now you can see the abstract pa pattern. That was a uh, mistake there. I didn't want to do that, but I'm going to take my Kleenex. I'm going to take that off uh, before it dries. Uh, so I can see this only as, as a grouping of shapes and of uh, things that are in the, uh, in, the, in the picture, not worried about the little detail and not worried about everything that's in it either because you've got to sort of do some editing when you are uh, doing this. Now I want you to erase the drawing this is going to reveal what the abstract pattern looks like without the left brain seeing it as a real object. And so as I, as I race this whole thing out, uh, you're starting to uh, see that uh, middle value shape <clears throat> appear as, as, as one shape. And if I showed you that uh, before and you didn't see the picture, you wouldn't make out uh, basically what that is. But you can see how it's all tied in together. And, uh, and then so the next thing now is to put the uh, secondary shapes that I'm going to uh, apply. <clears throat> and uh, these, these shapes will be, uh, this pattern that's on there is like a coat rack. Uh, 
uh, to this. It's hanging these shapes on that middle value. And I'm going to put these windows in right now. These are three windows, or four. And uh, then I see that I want to have to tie those in to a larger, larger dark shape also. And so we're going to put this down, and we add add these as we go. You know, and and whatever uh, whatever you think uh, you should do, uh, do it. But then also think about the uh, idea that uh, if you're not sure, don't do it. Now this looks to be rather dark, and it's maybe too dark for this stage, uh, because if we make it too dark, then we can't go darker later, and I like to go a little darker later, so I'm going to just kind of keep working this as I, as I, uh, as I paint. <coughs> uh, it doesn't make any sense at first, uh, so don't look for it to, uh, to be just really fantastic at the very, very beginning, because it just will not be there. What you have to do is uh, you trust your instincts, trust the dark marks that you're making. Now I'm going around that uh, bicycle and I'm being a little bit too careful uh, with that because now I start to paint things and I don't want to paint things. Okay, I'm going to make a dark up on that left hand corner. There, now I'm lighted up just a little bit because I think it should be a little bit lighter. Those are the things that you make an adjustment uh, for. Okay, have that down there. There's the rough. Now some form is starting to appear. And uh, remember now, all of those shapes that are underneath is holding that together. That's why the abstract pattern is there. And you stay within that abstract pattern unless you have you know, a change that you want to make. Now, after that pattern has been painted, now we're going to go in with a smaller brush and we're going to put in a little bit more finer lines uh, here and there. And I call this the uh, calligraphy uh, stage. Looking around just to see where I can put in some more darks. You've got to squint at this, and you can see exactly what uh, what is happening. Now, this is what a uh, with a uh, strip stripper, I think it's called dagger stripper from a supply company. Uh, it's just a very very narrow at the end, but it's wide up towards the ferrule of the brush. Uh, and now I'm drawing with this uh, these lines just to give some thin lines. Not trying to uh, outline anything. You do not want to outline, but you want to get an expressive line uh, going through. There's a there's a little seating place there that's on the uh, underneath that canopy. Uh, just sort of uh, taking, I think, shorthand type of thing. It's uh, just give some marks here and there that would give a little bit more interest. To the uh, to to the picture. You can see what happens now with this darker line. It's just really uh, neat that what what happens. Now we got the end of the post that are coming uh, this way. And so that ends that. And then we got these dark areas in between there, which is kind of a nice uh, abstract pattern that's down there. And the, the dark's holding these lines together. Got a little bit carried away there with that. Okay, now I'm gonna put this down here. Remember now, this is just a sketch. And so things that you get carried away with, you surely would not do that in the real painting. So that's why I mention it here, because uh, when I do the painting, I will uh, remember that just by looking at the sketch. Now we're going to put a little bit more in with this uh, bicycle here. I think it's a very interesting uh, shape to put in. 
and uh, sort of uh, gives a sportsman-like feel to this. Like there's uh, somebody around there that rode that bike in. Okay, now you can see that the perspective is not too bad. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it's pretty good. And also, uh, you can see the lighter patterns now as it filters through, uh, especially where that window is, and it comes down over that gas tank and then down into the wall. Uh, that, is a, that is nice. Okay, I'm gonna, there's a dock over there, and then there's a boat that's on the other side of the dock, and I want to make sure that that is, uh, uh, stands out. Now, you want to be careful that you don't put too many darks away from the center of interest, and the center of interest is the building. Uh, so I caution myself when I do that, is that you have to remember that because it will become scattered. Okay, a little bit up there. I don't like the peak of that roof. I think that peak of that roof is not too good. So I'm going to change it. Now there is the uh, the picture that I've uh, I've taken this from. And uh, as you look at the picture, it's going to fade into the uh, drawing. There's a lot of interesting shapes that are going across here that I feel as if that was a success. Thank you for watching.